What is up guys, Triple H Guy 2004 back here with Broke My Dad. Hey, how you doing guys? Um, I figured I'd put this up and uh, get it up before I leave for Dallas on Friday morning. Uh, I figured this will be my last chance because tomorrow night we'll be busy packing. So I'm going to put this up. This is our NXT predictions for the NXT TakeOver show. Um... So let's get into it. Uh, Apollo Cruz versus Elias Sampson. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Apollo Cruz wins in this one. Yeah, I am um, too. There's not much, from what I remember, right? There's not much to this story line wise. I think maybe, I don't know. I don't even remember. To be honest with you, I'm trying to remember what happened. The the mainer cards I remember is more what happened than those other ones than this one come on stop and then we go into uh, Shinsuke Nakamura making his NXT debut I'm really excited for this want to see this guy I've only seen him a couple times on uh, New Japan wrestling on access TV and then I saw him of course on that uh, Wrestle Kingdom 9 show last year um, I didn't watch this year's show but um he's going up against Sami Zayn I'm gonna go Shinsuke Nakamura on this one making his debut considering Sami Zayn is on the main card at Wrestlemania in the IC title match I don't I mean I could see them maybe giving it to Zayn to make him people think that actually watch NXT that he's going to win it at Wrestle, the IC title at Wrestlemania but I'm just going to say that Shinsuke wins what are you going to say yeah I I think the same thing because you know Sammy's already the main roster anyways you know right so it would be kind of foolish to let him win. We have, so he's going with Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, um, buddy. And then we have Austin Aries versus Baron Corbin. Um, Baron Corbin basically whined and complained his way, tried to get a title match on this show. He thought he was due because he was in a move. He was in a triple threat with Zayn and Samoa Joe and Zayn put him in a move first and then Joe put him in the cross face and they had some controversy there and uh, Regal basically told him to screw off you don't deserve a title you tapped out even though we didn't have a dis decisive winner um, so uh, Corbin got pissed and attacked this debuting run Austin. On. Austin Aries came out was announced and uh, he attacked uh, Austin Aries from behind so that's basically what set this match up um, the revival versus American Alpha I'm trying to think if there's like a real story to this no but there's going to be a good match and this is one of those matches oh sorry who do you think is going to win Aries or Corbin so I think, I think Aries are going to win uh, I didn't. I don't know if I gave my prediction, but I think Aries is going to win as well. Um, I could see them giving it to Baron because everybody kind of knows Austin Aries' name, so they could give it to Corbin. But I'm going to go with Austin Aries just for shits and giggles. Uh, the Revival versus American Alpha again. Like I was just saying, I don't think this match needs much of a story. The match is there. It's going to be a great match for the NXT Tag Team Championships, and I think. The revival of Dash and Dawson will retain the tag team championship. Not me. I, it's not that I don't like American I think, Alpha. I do. I think they're great competitors, but I just think the 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 revival or yeah, the revival needs to retain Dash and Dawson. Whatever. Um. So you're going with American Alpha. Yep. Uh, and then we have. The NXT Women's Championship, Asuka versus Bailey. Bailey, I love Bailey, so I'm gonna say Bailey retains this. 
Dad? I say Oscar kicks her ass. Okay, Dad's saying Oscar's going to kick her ass. Okay, and then we have for the NXT Championship, we have Finn Balor defending against the champion, defending against Samoa Joe, the challenger. Uh, basically, the story going into this, like I basically said in the Baron Corbin thing, Corbin was entwined in this. Uh, some Sami Zayn had some... Zayn and Joe had some screwy finishes to the number one contendership um, or the championship. They had some screwy finishes. Zayn popped up his shoulder. The referee counted three. Regal reviewed the tape. He made a match for the number one contendership. And then there was another screwy finish. And then, then they had the number one contendership match for Zayn and... Uh, Joe in a two out of three falls match, which was really good. Um, so I'm going to go with, I think Joe's going to end up debuting on Monday Night Raw. Uh, I think his time in NXT is almost over. Um, he either debuts on the main roster or they just, or he just cuts his ties with WWE and goes into the independent but I don't see that happening. I think Joe might make his debut on the main roster on Monday Night Raw. People know him. He's a known name. So you could just debut him on Raw. Uh, I don't know where he goes right now. So maybe he stays on NXT. I don't know. So I'm going to go with uh, Finn Balor to retain. Yeah, I agree with you. I think Joe needs just Joe's time to go to the main roster. You know? So Finn Balor is going to retain so Joe can go to the main roster. You know? Right. So, those are our NXT TakeOver Dallas predictions. It comes to you live on the WWE Network for uh, only $9.99. This time it's for free. WrestleMania no. is. Well, that's only if you're a new subscriber yes. to the WWE Network. We are paid subscribers, so we don't get that shit for free. No. So, for Triple H Guy 2004, for my dad, Roy. Right, we'll see you later. Peace.